Welcome, Muscatine. We are going to be doing Tai Chi again out here at our beautiful Arboretum. And if you can figure out where I am, here's a bird bath right beside me. I'll give you a hint. There's a pollinator board right out here that gives you some information about the butterflies. Um, when we have a lot of good people in this community that are pollinators and, and we have a pollinator garden even down by the dog park. But I think I dressed appropriately because I feel like a butterfly today in this outfit. We're going to get started and gather up some chi here. I'll just be perfectly frank with you. I did not uh, do much preparation today, so bear with me and we'll just gather some chi and get grounded and rooted because I need some grounding right now. So let's just sink into here, shift your weight forward and back on your feet and find that spot through the arch of your feet where you can ground yourself. I'm grounding on sandy bottom with Purrington bricks that somebody beautifully choreographed around this bird bath. It's awesome, the kind of work that people do around here. So I feel very solid on this today. And that will make our Tai Chi a little bit different than when we were on the grass or any other uh, type of surface like asphalt or gravel. Haven't tried that yet. Anyway, grounding and rooted right in the center. Most important thing there. Come up to your knees, unlock, and you can go as far as you, the tip of your toes or anywhere behind that point, not past your toes. Come up to your knees there. I mean, we're already at our knees, so turn your knees out. Engage the lower part of your core. Tuck your tail in that pelvic tilt. Correct your posture, which I need reminded to do that more than once every hour. Shoulder blades in your back pocket. That's how I like to think of it. Tuck your chin down so you're looking straight on. Stretch your neck. Gather up some chi from energy from the sun. Vitamin D free. I'm going to gather energy from all the people out here enjoying this beautiful park today. We have people on, on motorized, not motorized, bikes, trikes, uh, my kids are running around. We've got dogs. We've got ro razor blades, razor blades, roller blades, razor scooters. That's what we got. Anyhow, there's lots of energy to be gathered here. So let's just gather some up and give it to ourselves. Reminding you of your breathing. You want to breathe in through your nose if you can. Inflate your belly balloon, pause for a couple seconds and then exhale completely. Squeeze it all out. Breathe out through your nose or your mouth. So incorporate the breathing as we gather some more chi. Enjoy the sounds and songs of the birds all around us today. Hopefully you're not enjoying the sound of any buzzing mosquitoes yet. Although I have noticed that the gnats are back. Don't worry, they won't last long. And there's always Bug Soother and Vanilla and Absorbing Junior. And my guess is if you talk to fishermen, they're the ones who know how to get rid of those things because I think they're attracted to water. Okay, let's try my other chi gathering form. Cross your hands down by your knees, up and open, inhaling, exhaling. Bend your elbows, cap it. So kind of focusing on our arms today, although I'm also bending my knees and getting my exercise through my legs. Remember how we've talked about Tai Chi incorporating all the best parts of all types of exercise? It's the magic of Tai Chi. One last time. Okay, let's hold on to the moon and we're just going to shift our weight 
and then folding or turning right here. So you're not twisting your back, your spine is straight. And then we bring it back, and shift your weight into the center, and then we're going to go the other way. So shift, pivot. And then come back. So you can do it as one movement or you can separate it. Always shift first and then reverse engines. And that's how you can slow it down. And when you're holding the moon, the crescent moon, or a croissant, shift, pivot. You might be shrugging your shoulders, so relax your shoulders. Remind yourself of your posture. Pivot, shift, shift, fold. Folding is actually the technical term. Folding the gua. And once again, don't forget to breathe. If you let your arms go down, we can do the same weight shifting and let your arms swing. Again, we can do it in pieces. So shift, let your arms swing. This is called bear walking. So you can picture a big old bear walking through the woods. Hopefully we don't see any of those out here. Shouldn't. Sometimes animals get lost off track too. We have lots of good friends out here that we run across at, at this park. It's well used and well loved and it, they maintain it beautifully. So that is bear walking. And if you want to just be simpler, you can put your elbows at 90 degrees, relax your fingers, don't be stiff, relax, relax. And then just shift your weight and sink down. Weight shifting is good for grounding. It's good for strengthening your legs. It's good for ankle range motion. We don't want stiffness there. If you get stiff ankles, that's when you start losing your balance sometimes. <coughs> Relax. It's okay if you remind me to relax. I won't take it personal. I'm kind of a high energy gal most of the time, so that's probably why I needed Tai Chi, is to learn how to slow down. And sometimes you don't have to take a walk for aerobic purposes. You just need to stroll and enjoy the scenery Focus on breathing and listen to nature all around you. So that's a nice little warm up for us. How about we do our routine? Let's get your heels together, toes apart. That piece of pizza is right down there. Shift your weight and get rooted and grounded. Come up to your knees and unlock and open. Tip and level out your pelvic bowl. Shoulder blades in your back pocket. Tuck your chin, stretch your neck, three breaths. And try to make these breaths, you can do them even, four and four if you want. Four counts in, four counts of air out, or make it a little bit off. Four counts in, six to eight out. That way you'll entice your diaphragm to work, which is where we want the air to come right now. We want to get it down to the base of our lungs. Squeeze it out. Okay, put your arms down. Get your feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you're grounded and rooted really good. Hunker down a little bit. Gather up a little more chi. Remember, Tai Chi is about giving and taking. Receiving and giving. 
sharing it with others and gathering up some energy that some of them don't need, maybe some of those kids, because we might need it a little bit more. And they're willing to share. Shift your weight, ward off. So we're gonna pivot on our heel and then step forward. Be careful if you're on sand, might be a little more slippery. Always know your, the ground you're standing on. Sweep forward as we're shifting our weight forward. Sink back to our wrist press forward. Remember, we're solid and grounded and rooted through our legs. Our trunk is directing the motion, but our arms get to be expressive, artistic, painting a, a picture, telling a story. Ward off, looks like a big balloon. Pivoting to the left, stepping forward. And you can take a wider step if you want to stretch your legs out a little bit more. Wrist press. We're relaxing, but energizing at the same time. Hmm, how does that happen? I don't know. I love the magic of it. Repulsing the monkey. Sometimes we got one on our back. So we want to get rid of that. Any excess baggage that you're carrying, just get rid of it. Breathing. And I'm following my hands with my eyes, so I'm getting a little bit of stretching throughout my whole body. Remember your posture, Kayleen. There's no magic number of repetitions of any of these patterns that we're putting together here into our form. Whatever you feel like doing, if you want to take a little longer swim, then you just do it. All right, cloud hands. There's some little fluffy clouds out here today. Flipping our cloud. A wispy cloud. You can make it a little wispy. Again, I'm shifting my weight from one leg to the other, which is helping me get more grounded. And I'm following my hands with my eyes. So I'm exercising even the little muscles in my, by behind my eyeballs. Everything needs some exercise. We come to a pause. This is where I like to straighten myself up again. Looks like time for some tea. It's iced tea time, sun tea time, green tea time, sweet tea time. Okay, slipping forward, spout goes down, up. Gonna get some more of that vitamin D. I'm gonna step back so I know that I got good grounding. Snake slides down. Yeah, I'm sure they're out here somewhere. I just hope they stay far away from me. That's because my brother used to chase me around the farmyard with garter snakes hanging off the end of a hoe. It's probably where this dislike of snakes came from. Okay, golden pheasant standing on one leg. I've been out on my family farm and the pheasants are coming back. In fact, my mom has a couple of pet ones under an evergreen tree that she watches. And when they fly across the road, oh my goodness, golden pheasants standing on one leg. Step back. Dancing crane. We may be seeing some of those water birds too. If your balance is good, you can lift your toe, set your foot behind you, and then we do it the opposite way. Dancing crane. And this time you're gonna pick that front foot up, which is my left foot, set it right back down, 
And we know it's baseball softball season. Slow motion pitch. Sinking back to our transition step, pivot out our front foot, step forward. And now we'll do a couple of underhands. Remember to breathe. Sink back, grounding ourselves. Pivot out the front foot, step forward, downward punch. Sweep it and push it away. You don't need any of that stuff that you just punched down. Maybe it's homemade bread dough you're punching. Oh yeah, I have a grandma, I had a grandma that made the homemade bread and rolls, pie, donuts, yum. Get your heels back together. Give yourself a hug <clears throat> or get one from a friend. Open up and let's breathe. Check yourselves out. See how grounded you are. See where your knees are. Oh, did your bowl tip? Did all those strawberries tip out? Shoulder blades in your back pocket. Tuck your chin, stretch your neck. Close it off. And of course, we always want to say thank you. Namaste. So, let's just enjoy nature. I'm going to watch some of my friends, Molly, the dog, out here for her walk. And we're going to do Tai Chi quietly. <clears throat> let's talk you through the preparation. Shift your weight, get rooted and anchored. Unlock and open your knees. Level out that bowl. Shoulder blades in your back pocket. Tuck your chin, stretch your neck. Three breaths down into your belly. If you breathe through your nose, you won't suck in any gnats through your mouth. Ugh. And let's begin.
Thanks for joining me. And just remember, life is short. So go outside, enjoy the fresh air, enjoy your friends, enjoy your family. I'll see you next time.